Hello friends, welcome to this case discussion and demonstration of a conservative endodontic procedure in a left mandibular first molar with class 5 caries. Also recently one of our followers had requested for the conservative access procedure in the molar tooth and that's why this video. So here's the preoperative radiograph of the patient's 3-6. It's a class 5 caries without any occlusal involvement. So here's the treatment plan. We are planning to restore the class 5 cav cavity initially. And occlusally, this is going to be the plan to be as conservatively as possible to preserve the healthy tooth structure. So, this is the initial access that we have prepared with a traditional uh, tapering diamond burr. So, you can see the point of entry is the inner slope of the mesiobuccal cusp where the height of the pulp horn is maximum and is the easiest point of entry. And following this, we make sure our axis doesn't extend beyond the central point and also make sure that the axis doesn't extend or undermine the lingual cusp. And after this initial axis is done and upon tentative location of the canals, we're just going to block the pulp chamber and the orifices with Teflon packed nicely into the pulp chamber. To protect the orifices from getting blocked, during restoration of the class 5 cavity. So now we begin to excavate the class 5 caries. And you can see the pulpal involvement through the class 5 cavity as the Teflon is getting exposed. And now the preferred material of choice is resin modified glass enamel as the caries is slightly subgingival and the bonding may not be very ideal with composite resins here you can see here we use the equia fort resin modified glass enamel from GIC and now we are going to proceed with rubber dam isolation once the isolation is completed now all the teflon is removed from the pulp chamber see that the pulp chamber has been nicely protected from getting blocked from our teflon also you can note that there is a pulp stone in the distal pulp horn so it's going to be carefully removed with a long neck burr to remove the obstructions above the distal orifices Following using slow speed bursts, we always clear the debris with a conventional scaler. And then further access refinement is done with ultrasonics. Startex is used in the dry mode here. Use of diamond bursts for refinement of access can actually widen your access cavity. So following using the Startex in dry modes, the regular conventional scale is used to clear the debris and now we locate the orifices with the DG16 here there are four canals which is the mesiobuccal, mesiolingual and two distal canals and the heat treated files are used which can be pre-bent and easily placed into the orifices all the four canals are shaped with four person files to preserve the PCD and we stop with such narrow preparations because we use a lot of ultrasonic irrigation, continuous ultrasonic irrigation followed by uh, sodium hypochlorite and passive agitation as well and this is the final obturation after all the canals are thoroughly clean and in a conservative access people always worry about access to all the canals you can see here with good mouth mirror control you can still have good access to all the orifices in spite of such a narrow access cavity preparation finally after completing the obturation they are filled the access cavity is sealed with warm composite in a bulk fill technique and this is after finishing and polishing off both the class 5 and the coronal restorations So this was the plan, this was the pre-op, 
and this is the executed root canal treatment conservatively treated and the soffit preserve and also you can note that the soffit is nicely filled with the warm bulk fill technique Thank you for watching and see you all soon in our next video.